My name is Ed Lean. I'm an investigator at the Allen Institute for Brain Science, and I help to direct projects aimed at trying to map how genes are used across brain development and across structures of the brain. This particular project aimed at the specific period of cortical formation during mid-gestational pregnancy. And really this is uh, a critical period when the human cortex is just being formed, the cells are dividing, they're starting to migrate out into their final locations, they're starting to form circuits. And so this is a time when really things could go wrong in normal development to lead to brain disorders. Genes are used very differently in development than in the adult. So we've done a lot of work on the adult brain, but it turns out that the patterning is really almost entirely different at these early stages. Um, in particular, it seems that even more of the whole genome is used. Almost 95% of all genes are used during this stage of early development, whereas in the adult, a smaller proportion, more like 85% are used. A primary benefit of having such a, a broad and unbiased map is that one could look at the distribution or the usage of any gene across the entire brain. And so what this allows researchers to do is to take genes that they have associated with any developmental disorder and pinpoint exactly when and where that gene is being used. And that when and where gives you a very good idea of the mechanism whereby that gene might actually be used. And we show in the manuscript itself, but we've found ourselves in our analysis that many genes that are associated with early brain disorders are turned on in very specific places early in development using this atlas. Our projects, the atlases that we are publishing on today, are the product of many, many years of planning and, and, and working on our existing program. It's really nice that it coincides with the one year anniversary of the Brain Initiative, but these are things that, that we've had um, in the works for many, many years. So, the advantage of having this atlas in the developing human is that we can begin to address questions about what might be unique about human brain development and human brain function. 